So if your Apple Watch keeps asking for the passcode, then I'm here to explain uh, why that is happening and also how you can fix that problem. So the iPhone, if you have the passcode turned on or passcode enabled, then it detects using the sensors at the back of the Apple Watch whether it's on your wrist or not. So whenever it's not on the wrist or whenever it detects that it's not being worn, then it's, it's going to keep asking for the passcode and that's for your own security. So this should be a good thing actually. Now, if your watch is on your wrist and you still keep getting the passcode requests, it could be one of two reasons, okay? Now you're either, there's either something on your wrist, like a tattoo, a very heavy tattoo, or your wrist is too oily and the sensor is not able to get through and sense that you, you're wearing the watch, okay? And that's why it thinks that it's not being worn and it keeps asking for the passcode. The other reason is that you might be wearing your watch too loose, so you might want to uh, put it one hole tighter. Of course, not to an uncomfortable position, just one hole tighter so that the sensors at the back of the Apple Watch are in contact with your wrist properly so that they're able to recognize that the watch is being worn. And once the watch is being worn, it will not keep asking for the passcode, okay? so. It should be, it must be something that's blocking the sensors from detecting that the watch is being worn that's causing you or that's causing the Apple Watch to keep asking for a passcode. So if you can fix that, then you'll have fixed your problem. Thanks for watching. Comment your questions and comments down below and good luck.